Well, hello, hello, my friends. I know it has been a while, but welcome back to Shenanigans 3, 2, and 1. So happy to have you here with me today. Again, uh, typically on this platform, I do Timu hauls. I'll mix in some gardening or cooking videos or family time here and there. But for the most part, it has been about Timu hauls and product reviews, a couple thrift shopping. Uh, what is Timu? Timu is an online marketplace where their motto is you can shop like a billionaire. And I did that for about a year solid, which started this whole channel. Uh, again, haven't been here for a while. Just got back from our Alaskan cruise about a week and a half ago. Jumped right into a work week and back home for a couple days and then back to another work week. And again, I only have a day and a half off. I go back tomorrow. So there is no way, no how with uh counted on 16 bags and packages i still have to go through they've been accumulating and my time is very limited as most of you know i'm a flight attendant and with that being said i am going to start pulling back on the timu i used to try to pump out one to two videos a week sadly i love you guys and i will miss you but that's gonna probably be maybe once a month at this rate. We'll see how it goes, but um, got some things going on. Um, most of you have sent me messages, private messages, emails, comments, asking what happened to me. Uh, I got some family stuff going on, some health issues with myself, and um, lost a lot of work this year. So I'm trying to make up my hours. I have to have a certain amount of quarterly hours uh, to maintain my flight benefits and medical and all that jazz. So. That is my main focus. And um, Timo in itself is a great, great, um, I, I really think their quality overall is 85%. I've been pleased with most of the things I've ordered, a couple go backs here and there, free returns. Um, a lot of people have taken off and started their own channels. In fact, I'm gonna try to remember to put it in the link the, her link in the description but check out Trisha's house at Trisha's house with a capital T and Trisha and a capital H in his house she um, started doing these videos and they are a lot of fun and I really really enjoy it as I have making new friendships but it is time for this girl to slow her roll and that's what I'm gonna do without further ado again I have quite a few things to get through not a whole lot of time um, so I am going to go ahead and jump into it and share a few of the products I got with you. Now, prices do change and the vendors are going to compete for your business. So you will also notice that a lot of the things that I purchased, what I paid for them, say a month ago, might not be what they're available for today. They could be more, they could be less. So do your research. If there is something that I'm hauling that you like in particular, put it in the search bar. Just put it in the search bar. You know, it, I just, sorry. I don't have time to edit my videos. Um, I don't even pause them anymore. A couple things about me. I vape. I drink once in a great while. Um, I should have probably grabbed a beer because it's my day off and I should have. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one product I'm going to open first. Now, um, I have insomnia and I use a CPAP machine. And since I've recently lost quite a bit of weight, uh, my breathing has gotten much, much better for the results of uh, my last sleep study test. But um, if I have to sleep in the crew lounge at the airport or take a nap, I'm a very light sleeper. I like it dark. I like my thunderstorm rings sounds. Um, and I saw this, and this is not Timu. It's, uh, it says Dream Wrap on it. And I can't really remember what I paid for it. I want to say it was 30 ish dollars, could have been 40 ish. But um, it's basically comes with a little charger okay hooks up to your bluetooth and it is a head wrap and it's got the remote here to play your music apparently if you link it to your phone it will go off um this is going to go back for sure for sure so yeah you would just control it here it's loose i have a smaller head and uh i cannot find the port that i'm supposed to uh, plug it into so, um, yeah, I don't know why I just showed you that just because it was sitting here with the other packages. Yeah, that's a go back. I couldn't figure it out. Um, you'll notice I burnt myself at work. I still have to do my OJI. In fact, I was supposed to do that before starting this video, but I forgot. Um, 
was going to start meal prepping this week so I could eat healthier while I'm working instead of doing fast food at the airports and spending $27 on a ham and cheese sandwich and a small Greek salad. Insane. But I don't have time. Um, didn't haven't even gotten my hair done in a couple months. And as you can see, those roots are coming in and those grays. So um, I do have three weeks off after I did this four-week trip starting Friday. And uh, hoping I can... Uh, get that done before my next video. I'm going to hit my vape and go ahead and open up the next bag. Again, uh, these all came in when I was on the cruise. $4.37. Jay loves birds. And the, uh, let me get my razor. The laundry room. Has like some birdhouses, stained glass windows with some birds on it. And these, from the picture, they looked really cute, but you know, things aren't always as they seem. So, I know I wanted to shout out a couple other channels, but again, it's been a chaotic week and I got some family stuff going on, so I haven't been able to do it. And you know what? I can already tell you. This is crap. It's like particle board. And I thought it was, um, even in the picture where you see the dimensions, let's see if you could see that. I thought um, they were actually sitting. I thought they were glass or maybe even acrylic I would have been happy with. It's just particle board. 437, it just sits on this little stand. I mean, it'll still look good in the window when the sun comes through it. But, um... You can see how thin it is. And it, I mean, yeah, it's acrylic, but I thought it was going to be, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That it was going to be um, different. That I thought they were going to be actual, like, birds. They are birds, but you know what I mean. I thought it, it was going to be, like, more realistic other than just a little stand. I mean, will it serve the purpose? Yeah, I'll put it on the windowsill. It's thin enough that it looks like it'll go. And we'll just put it up and put that in the window. I mean, it's cute, but $4.37. Not so sure about that one. Now let me get this stuff just stashed over here. It's going to leave a mess. Next is, um, I told you I like my sound soothers. And when I am on my overnight trips, typically work four days on, two to three days off in between. Um, I don't like draining the battery on my phone. Of course, I could do a YouTube and, and sound soothing. But um, I got this little, um, it says brand, fans, color, it's wood. It is a mini white noise machine. Now, I thought it had thunderstorms and other stuff. It says music selection, power on or off, timer indicator, head jack, charging port. I don't want to break a nail, y'all. But I want to take it out of the box to show you. Jay's in the other room talking to his dad on the phone, so I don't want to yell for him. But there we go. I got it. Determined. So um, I thought the size on this would be perfect. Uh, just throw it in my overnight bag, my suitcase. And um, sometimes they come charged. Let's see. And it looks like it's... You got your charging port in the back, right? That's full volume. And then you can set the timer for 15 minutes, 30, or an hour. Is your ocean. There's my thunderstorm. I like it. I think it's worth the 1016. Like I said, just because of the size alone will be great for me. Help me sleep in those hotel rooms. And uh, what is this? Oh, headphones. It's got headphones. Those will fall out, especially if I'm wearing my sleep mask. But we'll throw that in there. And I'm just going to chuck it where my overnight suitcase is. And I missed. Um, next product was $3.84, and it's crap. 
I guess you get what you pay for, but I thought it was a goblet. Like for my wine, I thought I'd be fancy and bougie when I'm doing my hauls. But it's a little goblet, like a miniature wine goblet. I guess you could use it as a sh fancy shot glass, but I don't do shots. Got the little gems on here, or you could just put it up like on a knickknap shelf. They had it in red and blues and different colors. I mean, it's cute, but I thought it was going to hold a glass of wine and that was too small. Next product is another hair piece. This was $4.47. And it is the uh, ponytail clip on. Now, again, I do have to get my hair done, but it does match pretty much perfectly, minus the roots. So you just put your hair up in a ponytail. Look at the look, look at my natural hair color, guys. <laughs> of course, the gray. And I got some product in my hair now, but yeah, I've got to get all this covered. But yeah, you put your hair up in a ponytail and then wrap this around the ponytail. And what I like to do when I do service on the plane is just kind of wrap it around so it's kind of like a thicker bun. But it's got these sections one two three one two three six seven eight nine ten so i guess i could braid it if i wanted to do five i could do double braids and have the double braids coming down maybe put it up in a ponytail i didn't bring a rubber band one time and then have the braids on both sides that is cute so i'll probably take this on my trip to be honest with you my hair is so thin and um i mean it looks shorter on video because you can't really see the back but uh pretty short i with the bleach to cover and blend the grays it damages my hair so i have to get it trimmed on the regular i got a couple hair pieces i think in this haul Get in there. I'm just going to dump the bag, you know. Um, I got another hair piece. This is a claw. This was also $4.97. And what do you know? Um, I got the rubber band, but not the rubber band I need. Don't judge me with the gray hairs. You know, I'm 52, so it's going to happen. Jay and I just got back from this uh, Mexican restaurant we like quite a bit called Paula's here in St. George. And I just had a salad and a couple of chips with salsa and I'm full. So they come with the hair nets, right? This color looks like it has more gold in it than what my hair does, but depending on how it comes out when I get it touched up will determine. This is more my mother's hair color. So I'll possibly pass it on to her. Um, now, they're... It is shedding, obviously. That's what it's going to do. And when it comes out, oh, that was a big one. When it comes out shiny like that, uh, somebody told me, I think I saw it on, maybe it was Hey Everybody, Aaron's channel, shout out, um, that you just put dry shampoo on it. Well, I do have some gold in my hair. And obviously the band I'm using is too big. But, um, yeah, I would have to take some of the shine out. But... You know, I pull out some pieces here just to kind of make it look more natural. And obviously, I am just kind of winging it at this rate. But I bring it down on the side using my nails. I mean, obviously, um, I would tuck that in so you don't see the gap need a bobby pin or one of those pins and put it there but oh there goes my back bad right that'll work i could get away with it why not all right i'm gonna take it out oh i did have a rubber band here it's shedding now i got it all in my hair Gosh, I really need to get my hair done. After I make this video, i got to set up my appointment with my stylist. And uh, try to get in there next week in between my doctor's appointments. 
They caught one of our flights from St. George to Salt Lake where I commute, and it is messing me up so bad because um, yesterday I literally sat in the airport since 11.15 in the morning and didn't get home till almost 1 a.m. I had to actually fly, fly from Salt Lake to Denver and then Denver to St. George as opposed to just Salt Lake to St. George. Pain in the arse. I want to make sure I don't mess up this hair. So I want to kind of twist and wrap it. I should have got a Ziploc bag. Actually, I am going to throw it there and get a Ziploc and worry about it after the fact. After I do the video. Um, next product was a dollar nine, and that is it for this bag. And it is lipstick. I already have some on, but uh, I'm gonna put it on anyway. Slice my finger off. Hope you guys are doing well. It's gonna be a very busy month for me with work. Very, very busy. I need the money though. My last paycheck was pathetic because I was on the cruise and don't get paid for the time I miss. It was shit. I'm like, how am I going to live off of this? <laughs> and I don't get paid. I get paid bi-weekly, so I won't get paid again for another two weeks till like the 21st. So this is like a mauve. Glossy. I think it's like a lip stain. Their makeup's like hit or miss. And I have so much makeup. It's like the last thing I need to be buying. And I've been already full of hair pieces. And half the time I don't even wear them because I get lazy. I'm going to open up this. Uh... Oh, I didn't price this. So maybe I'll wait on this because I, I didn't go through and price that. We'll do this one. A lot of these things I purchased to take on the cruise and was so rushed that I forgot them. I was not happy and we were talking about doing a travel channel. That went to shit because he didn't film. We were just rushing around on the cruise. You know, there's so much to see. This was $4.48. And um, basically, it is a bunch of organizers for your suitcase. And again, being a flight attendant, and not being around much, um, I, I had gotten these before, and it's just a great product. Oh no, what I do? Why they do that? Hopefully, I didn't break the zipper, but it's got one, the big one, two, three, four. Secret pouch, it says. Okay, so maybe your panties or stockings. This one's a little bit bigger. That could even be for makeup, medication, toiletries, be bras, whatever. There's a lot in here. This one is more of a cube square. And they have the ventilation in the top, maybe some bathing suits or tank tops. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of pieces in here. This could actually be more my makeup bag. And then the big one. So we got one, two, three, four, five pieces. What'd I say it was? $4.48, so less than a dollar a piece. That's a steal, my friends. So just look in travel organizers or suitcase organizers. They do have them in different colors, I believe. I went with the pink. And uh, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. Um, it says travel on it. It's got like the little rubber emblem. I'm actually going to throw this over there with my other stuff for work so I can attempt to be a little bit more organized. Attempt being the keyword that is. Um, next product was $4.29. It looks like it is another organizer, but uh, my garden, by the way, is insane. I can't keep up with it. And I'm so grateful for Jay helping me water it. Uh, it's 110 degrees today, you guys. It is hot. Um, so uh, this is another organizing thing. Um, we converted my van, minivan, into a camper. We love camping. And this is great just for, um, I don't know, I could put some towels in there. I could put the firewood in there, although I do have a separate carrier for it. Um, even 
just in the back of your car, you know, to organize maybe some umbrellas, maybe some flares or a tire changing kit or some tools or just use this and put it in the garage and pack up maybe extra linens, you know, sheet sets or it's an organizing bin. Use your imagination. You can get a million uses out of it. Am I right, my friends? You're right, Shannon. You are right. Jay has been sick the last few days. I'm grabbing another bag. This was $6.99. I'm going to try to talk to you while I show the products. But Jay's been sick, so he's coughing up a lot of crap. Gross. Um, $6.98. And this is, looks like um, an eyebrow. So I just went and did a thing, and I got my um, eyebrows tinted for 10 bucks at the beauty school. He gave me a $50 gift card. I think it was for Valentine's Day or my birthday or something like that. And I kind of get nervous with the beauty schools. They've really botched my hair a few times. So I won't go there. I found a really good stylist. And although um, every time I go to get my hair done, it's almost $250. And at the school, it probably cost me $60. But sometimes you get what you pay for. But I was so impressed with the way they did my brows. So that's going to save me a lot of time on shading my brows. Now I did go over them a little bit with a darker color, but their tint was like right on, right on. And they do lashes. So I'm going to do that too. Next week, we'll see how much time I have because I know I'm not going to get through all these products for you. So I'm hoping next week um, I'll probably be pumping out at least once a week, time permitting, one to a video, at least one, until I get caught up with all that I have. And then I have, I think, two more bags, maybe three coming in. Um, and I still use Timu, don't get me wrong. It's nothing against Timu as much as it is about my time. But uh, my nephew just graduated from high school and he's going on to get a, he's already got his hours in regards on a private plane for his, he's gonna be a pilot. How great would that be to work with my nephew? But um, I couldn't make it to the graduation. The flights were full. I couldn't get off of work. Um, so this is Aya, Aya, Aya. Attention, this is reusable. Oh, magnetic eyeliner eyelashes. I almost want to try this. But it tells you how to use it in the back. It has an instruction manual. I am excited about this. I have used the magnetic lashes before. And I, um, I got to see a neurologist because I have, I get tremors and I shake, little seizures, especially with my, I think this is the same one I got before, but I shake. So it's really hard to hold a steady hand. So this is your eyeliner and um, it should be liquid. I'm pretty sure if this is the same. Yeah. And it's got like little magnetic pieces in it. And then of course you have your applicating tool where you grab the lashes itself and you just kind of press, press them. Um, now at the beauty school I go to, they do your lashes. These are my natural lashes. They're very hard to see. But um, now that I'm on this weight loss journey, here's a case, looks like a little compact. It's a mauve color. But I want to get my lashes done. I want to get my eyes done. For my son's wedding in November, I'm getting in extensions, real human hair. It's probably going to cost like five, $600, but I'm doing it, saving up for it keep my weight in control. Those are pretty. I think you can get natural, glamorous, whatever. And there's two sets. Um, but yeah, um, I'm feeling better about myself physically, especially now that, uh, and it has these ones as well, that my weight is more under control. So those are on the bottom. Those are more simple and relaxed versus the dramatic, which is what I'd probably go for the wedding and the instruction manual. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if I had more money, I'm all for plastic surgery. I know I've heard her stories, horror stories. My mom's had a lot of work done. She looks great for her age. She's had the gastric bypass. She had some complications for that one. She had it done in Mexico and it slipped and she got real sick. But uh, she's had the breast lift. She's had I think, um, where they cut off the excess skin. And we all have it, right? Um, I am actually gonna started hitting the gym this past week. The hotels always have some kind of gym, little gym. But I'm making sure I'm getting my steps. I even rented, well, I didn't pay for it. We don't have to, but even took the hotel bike out 
in Santa Barbara and kind of rode around the beach. So I'm making sure I get in my steps. So I am trying to be more active and I am making better healthy food selections. Um, I am at the lowest weight I have been maybe ever. So I'm almost 5'2". I'm 5'1 and a half. I was 5'2 and a half, but I shrunk an inch with my back issues. But um, I think the lowest I ever was like was 156 and I'm 148 right now. And I am talking my whole life. I've always been a chubby, thicker girl, top heavy. Um, I have lost my butt, my face. Even if you go back to my first video, you'll notice like how thinned out my face has gotten. And I'm very happy with it. But I actually look thinner uh, when I first started dating Jay. I think I was 211 and then I think I went down to 160 um, because I was working out every day and I was toned. And of course, muscle weighs more than fat, but I look thinner. So, you know, I still got that flat. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I've got to go through that spare bedroom, the Timu disaster. Um, it is, Timu took over. Like, in my life, it is so amazing, this, this platform that we share called Timu. I've, I've gotten all these clothes and didn't anticipate losing all the weight that I did so rapidly. So now I have to get rid of them. I mean, clothes I've never worn. Really good, high quality clothes. And I was thinking, and I've mentioned it in some of my other hauls, that I was just going to pack up a box get somebody size, pull their name, and say, hey, I'm going to send you a little care package. And it would be things I ordered that I never used with Timu, or even things I have worn that just don't fit me. But it costs money. You know how much it is to ship a package, especially if it's going to, like, Canada or Australia? It's a lot of money. I know I'll never get back the money I invested in these clothes. Some of them are designer clothes I didn't even get from Timu. But um, I've had some pretty good luck in where I live. I live in a very nice neighborhood and um i think the first time i ever had garage sale here we made like seven seven hundred and fifty dollars in a day and a half not even two days we shut down early um and granted i had a lot of jewelry i still have a lot of costume jewelry now but um anyway i'm rambling so yeah i think i'm just gonna do a garage sale and then whatever doesn't sell when i get burned out you know you get burned out easily setting up tearing down stuff i'll donate some or uh, hopefully I can get my mom out here, my best friend, and I'll be like, look, this is, all this stuff is brand new. Or even tell my mom, hey, you know what? You pay for the shipping and I'll send you a big box, mom. And they're brand new clothes. Next product is a solar interaction wall lamp. It was $5.19. Um, it says garage, patio, home. Now we have lights out front and we have lights out back. So why the hell did I get this? I have no clue. Probably because it was only $5.19. And I was thinking maybe I'll put it on the side of the house, even though the garden is there, it gets dark. The problem is we have a brick house and the wall is brick. So how do I drill? I mean, it's like plasticky. How do I drill it in? Um, sometimes they have like the plastic backing. I mean, this is, it's solar, right? So I don't need to put the light on. I guess when the sunlight hits it, I mean, I could even put it this was even maybe I can get those um 3 a.m stickers the velcros and stick it to the window I I don't know I'll find use for them if not guess what garage sale now, I'm sure nobody's gonna give me the 519 I paid for it I probably sell it for two bucks but um it has the little screws I mean those screws are not gonna secure it they're probably an inch there's no way I solar so I don't have a son in my house because you know he has his own house wordplay you see what I did there <laughs> Shannon you're a silly goose <laughs> solar interaction wall lamp anyway I might get a couple bucks for it but um I really like it so where do I put it I hit this before he comes out I've been doing good Should empty everything out and keep this bag as a trash bag. Anyway, again, you guys have been so good to me. Some of you are on my Facebook. Oh, my nose is running. Excuse me. All right. This was $349 when I priced it a week ago. It was down to $244. I think it's makeup. I'm such a makeup whore. 
I haven't talked to Ashton, my girl, just and Tammy and Laura. Um, I haven't watched any hauls. I it's been it's been a rough week again. It's been rough. I don't know what is going on in my life, but just the weirdest week. I've had so many of my ex-boyfriends, like literally four of my ex-boyfriends reached out to me within a week's time. Some of them I haven't seen in 15 years or talked to in 10. And all of a sudden they all came out within three days of each other. I'm like, all right, retro retrograde, what is going on? And then it went from that to me being on cloud nine to reconnect with some old friends to uh, <laughs> just not being able to go to my nephew's graduation that really stressed me out you know family is very important to me and it's really hard um one of the reasons i became a flight attendant not just because it was my dream job as a little girl as it was many of yours but because my mom's in virginia my siblings are in new york and new jersey and pennsylvania where i grew up i should have showed you the box it is M-A-F-F-I-C-K, Mafic. But, um, so I couldn't afford to purchase tickets every time I wanted to visit them. God forbid there's a family emergency and I need to get there. And I've had a couple with my oldest son. I had to get there immediately, you know, like he was hit head on by a dump truck. Um, so this is a pretty blush. That is bold. But, um... Thankfully, I was able to jump on a flight and left work and went, let's try this out. That's pretty. It's like a mauve. Kind of maybe go with the lipstick. Of course, I'm just a rat a tat tap. Not really blending it out, but it's got a little glimmer, as you can see. Jay is so loud. Shut up! Just kidding. I would never talk to him like that. Me? Sassy, spicy Shannon. Never. Lies, all lies. And why am I throwing the trash on the ground when I literally just said I have this trash bag? Sinner. All right, so let's keep the makeup there. Um, Nuts product was $1.99, and it looks like it's more makeup. And this is um, two mode. T-O-O-M-O-D-E. And what is it? We'll find out together because I forget. Pigment eyeshadow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did get these in other colors, but I didn't have the blue. And look, I got a, a Q-tip here. Two mode. And this is like a navy. This will look really pretty. This is the same blue that I got for my son's wedding. The velvet gown with the rhinestones I got. It is protected and sealed. That's a good thing. Let me slice it. And, uh, oh, that is really pigmented. I'm going to dip my um, cotton swab Q-tip. We'll just go here. Let's see. He's yelling at somebody. It's not good. So I am just kind of touching up. I have gray shadow on now. So I just kind of touched it up a little bit for you so that's the blue and it is very glittery just kind of doing the edges so you can see the color and I used a very very small amount in fact let me show you I just took it off the top cover where that is just right here and I do have a mirror here and it's hard And I just get in where the hood is. I would definitely, like I told you guys, I would so be down to get the, that's one of the cosmetic surgeries I'd love to get where it lifts. Like you could see right here, my eyelids are droopy. Getting, oh! Oh, Lord, I almost spilled it all over my carpet. That would not have been a good look. Sorry. 
Damn, I need a beer. He's stressing me out because I hear him yelling. I think he's just excited and talking about his game. Next uh, product was $3.49, and they are acne patches. And there are, it says comfort. So, are they little stars? Green, superstar, yellow, superstar, purple. So, I believe those are the colors. So, you get a pimple. Yep. And here they are. I'm not going to take them out. You can see they've got the green, they've got them in purple. And you get a pimple like this right here. Let's, I, you know, why not? I've, I've come this far for you guys. I don't want to get that shadow on the furniture, but um, let's say I've got a pimple, which I do still get even at my age. I'll just use, I'll just peel anyone off. Um, they're supposed to cover your pimple and treat it, so I believe there is some kind of medication in it. Come on. Okay, put it on the wrong side. So let's just say I had a pimple or a scar there. You just put the sticker on. Can you see that? So, I mean, they're cute. I usually get my pimples down here. So, yeah, I'd much rather have a little star sticker on my face than a pussy red inflamed pimple. It happens. Next product is $4.47, and I've got like four of these. Oh, no, wait, I don't. It's a selfie stick. So this is one of the products that we were supposed to take on the cruise with us. Um, it has a light, and you just put your phone in here. And you can turn it this way or this way and tighten it. And then um, it's not charged but it looks like it would even go on a tripod that I have because it's got the extender. Okay, so you can just set it down, set your timer on your phone, have your phone in there and click, or just hold it up like that, and you got your selfie stick. But Jay is six foot two, so normally he'll just hold the camera out. Cheese, do it like that. $4.47. I've got to um, get this tooth cap, too. You can see it's discolored. It drives me crazy. So when you see pictures of me, like on my Facebook or whatever, I try to turn to this side because these are whiter than that one tooth. Um, a lot of them are crowns, one implant. Um, I have calcium deficiency, among other things, and the medication just kind of really has taken a toll on my teeth over the years. And... My favorite thing that I'm drawn to, a lot of people like pretty eyes. I mean, I'm all for some pretty eyes as well, but I've always been a sucker for a good smile. And uh, literally have nightmares about my teeth falling out, which I, I believe is your dreams. I think are supposed to be symbolic. It means the death of something or a change or a transition, if I'm not mistaken. I used to have a book that would analyze dreams, but probably sold that at a garage sale. Come on. I just, oh, it has a charger too, I guess, for the light, but I'm gonna have to tape the bottom up. Let's try to get this back in the bag again, shall we? Let's do it. I have no idea where I am for time. I don't wanna look. We're just gonna try to get through it and be thorough for y'all. Cause I haven't seen you in so long. My back is hurting. Time to adjust. Um, next product was $11.99, and, um, oh, it's a la laser leveler. Again, I still haven't done the bathroom, but, um, yeah, just to hang up pictures, I don't have a steady eye, but, um, it's got quite a few attachments. Standard and metric rules, laser power on and off, two-way level bubbles, eight foot or 250 centimeter measuring tape contains three AG 13 batteries for free batteries required. So yeah, just to hang up a picture or make sure it's leveled. That's what that is. 
what is this that came inside with it. And I'll put this out in the garage with the tools. It's got like a little stand. I don't know why. I'm assuming it's all supposed to be together unless they're separate products. And then, wait a minute, that might be two separate products, you guys. That looks like it's for a cell phone. It, this might be another uh, tabletop tripod. Let me pull that back out and double check. And if it is, I didn't price it, so my apologies. But, yeah, it's a tiny, like, um, my bad. That I don't think that goes to the leveler. This is just a tabletop phone holder tripod. Does it extend? I would think so. Don't want to break it. Let me put that back in there. I guess that's something different after all. I don't think that's part of the leveler. Man, I'm burning up. It's starting to get hot. Whew. I hope I'm not getting sick. I This last paycheck, I cannot afford to miss any more at work. I mean, I'm going on week two since the cruise. Just working my arse off. But it's too much at this rate. Too much. I'm going to save that bag. Oh, where are we at? I'm going to look. 41 minutes already. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting through all this. I've got three bags here at home. Let me do this one. Uh, these are a bunch of shorts I got for Jay that was $22.57 for five pair. So I'll be giving these to him. It's got the drawer strings. He loves his uh, basketball shorts. So we got gray. It's got the deep pockets, which he likes. So he's got gray. Over there. He's got a maroon. Again, uh, the quality on these is good. Got him in a large. He's like a medium large. He got an emerald green. This will go good with his Oregon ducks. Again, he loves the pockets. I mean, still, what I say, twenty-two fifty-seven for all for five pair. It's less than five bucks a pair. These I don't really picture him wearing. The color is kind of like a cream color. Um, he'll probably just wear the black out. Everything is like black, red, and blue for him. And um, they don't. Yeah, these are perfect for him. He just wears this year round with his uh, t-shirts or hoodies in Alaska running around in shorts like a crazy man. Sorry, my nose is dripping. I feel like I'm starting to get whatever he had. That's not good. I don't like it. Hmm. Next. Let's dig. Nineteen dollars and forty-seven cents. What is it? Nineteen forty-seven. Oh, cute. Oh, it's for the mail. And um, it's gonna put this up probably by the door. Hang our keys. Put our mail in there. It's got two slots: one for him and one for mine. And then I could just put little knickknacks on top. Let's see where that fits. Oh, it kind of fits perfect. It's got the hooks in the back, so we'll use that leveler to make sure it's level. But that'll look good here in the living room. Everything's brown and black. Oh, probably need the tools for that. I am going to put it back in here just because I'm not going to have time to hang it up before I go to work. So. All right, that's cute. It'll look good in the house, maybe even in the dining room. Who knows? $19.47. All right. Sorry if I'm, like, coming in real close. Sorry. Next product is a voice changer. Four dollars and seventy-seven cents. Just thought it would be a cute little toy to play with my grandson. Um, 
I think I might have put batteries in it. Like these were just constantly popping up on my page. And it's uh, got the instruction manual. It's got all oh, the little like keychain thing to hold it. I doubt it has batteries. Test, test. Let me get my glasses on because I can't see without them. But it has a button if you want a girl's voice, boy's voice, music. Test, test. So yeah, you just put the batteries in right here. It's got like a little speaker on the tongue. And it plays music, has a microphone. You can do a robot voice or a guy or girl's voice. And uh, let's see, where does this go? Looking to got lipstick on it. <laughs> Figure out where I put the. Um, hmm. Where do I put this? I don't know. Anyway, there's a strap. So that does require batteries, two double A's, which I have in the junk drawer. So we'll play with that later, maybe on the next video, we'll see. I've seen them like for 10 bucks or whatever, but like I said, this one was, what I say it was? It is $4.77. And this I got for my makeup, it was $2.91. And I just saw, uh, I have a cabinet with all my makeup lined up and this will be good for well that one won't fit but uh just the compacts that won't fit <laughs> we'll say that's here we go oh, my move sticks here yeah. so I can I like that it's see through so I can see what I'm looking for Alright, $4.48 is the next product. These are lights. Now I did take them out and I did put them in and it said it was motion detecting lights, but they stay on. And that was annoying because I do like it dark when I sleep, but there was, um, it was $4.48 for five of them. And again, they were listed as motion detector. So I thought when I would walk by, they would turn on. If I get up in the middle of the night, which I do about four times to use the restroom, I wouldn't uh, bump my shins into the edge of the bed or dresser, but they stayed on and that was annoying. Um, Plug in the power supply, the night light. Yeah, so it's just like a night light, y'all. I didn't like, I, if they were motion detector, it'd be better, which I thought it was. Next product are some nails. These were $1.69. Now, here's the thing. My nails are pointed. I always get squared shape. It's the first time in my life I ever got the round shape, and I like them. These are pretty long for $1.69. I've got tons of nails, and I probably will sell them at the garage sale because I don't have time to do them. Um, they have the plastic stickies in the back. It's got a little tiny nail file. Um, I've heard the nails here are kind of hit or miss as far as Timu nails are concerned. But I think it's time for me to let them go. And even though I haven't worn them yet, these are pretty long. I mean, of course you can file them down. I cannot wear nails like this. And they have to be an exceptional quality with my line of work. I'm constantly opening up beers or cans of soda. So... Um, when I do have the garage sale, I might just put them all in one big bag and say, you know what, there's a hundred different nails, so just give me five dollars for them or ten dollars or whatever. Or maybe I'll hold on to them. I don't know. I don't think I'll hold on to them. Next product is twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents. More shorts for Jay. Oh, no! Oh, these are for me. I got a size large. Hopefully they fit because I'm down on meet them. They're, um, oh gosh, I almost bought these again today. So they're the shorts on the inside. I think they're called sports. Shirt skirts. Short. Skirt shorts. 
no pockets, but there is a gray. Now, will Jay let me wear this? Doubtful. Will I wear it anyway? Absolutely. Just maybe not when I'm with him. Got a royal blue. And again, going through all the clothes, pulling out all the summer clothes in black. So these are going to have to be, I've been um, trying to match up my clothes and outfits. So when I pack my bag for work, I just grab whatever's on top. There's a pair of shorts matched with a t-shirt. Um, so these are going to just go in the Timu room, which is the new name. Cute. I can't wait to try them on. I don't really wear a lot of skirts. I wear leggings, jeans, and sneakers for the most part. I'm pretty simple, but uh, especially with the weight loss, I want to wear more. Now, these are cute little miniature bottles. It was $4.99 for 37 pieces, it looks like. And again, I give these out to the kids on my flight. Um, super cute if you have a dollhouse. Like, this is a chai seed drink. Really cute. A lot of, I guess, mini miniature stuff is pretty popular now. But they've got the different shapes and colors of little soda bottles or wine bottles. I could actually put these in the fairy garden and put them next to some of the gnomes. This is a cute, cute shape. Right? Or I could just give them out as little trinkets to the kids on the plane. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do, but they have even um, little DHL delivery boxes. These little FedEx cute little boxes. How cute. Maybe with my jewelry, because it's not going to be too expensive if I just send a couple jewelry pieces out. I, s I come up with all these ideas, and it sounds great in my head at the time, but the reality is I don't have time. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to start doing friend mail, and I'll just send you a Something that's not real pricey to send in the mail. We'll send you out a bunch of stickers or cute little miniature knickknacks like that. And then I forget. Another set of nails. These were $1.99. Again, they're the pointy shape, which I really do like the design on these. I mean, I could even bring it to my salon and say, hey, can you do my nails like this design? Um... This is false nails. It just says false nails. Do it yourself. 24 pieces. Natural delicate. But I really liked the um, design on those. No need to take them out. This video would be five hours long if I did. It looks like I got more hair for $7.99. Right away this is far too blonde. Um, this is more my mom's shade. She's more of that honey blonde. I am so sorry I'm sniffling. $7.99. It's kind of crinkly, kind of like beach waves. And it's got the combs that you secure in a ponytail. Again, wrap your hair in a ponytail. Then it's got the adjuster here. Pull that string tight, tighten it. I mean, it's not too far off, maybe when I get them freshly done, but let's say, again, it's in a ponytail. You just kind of put that around the ponytail, and it's just a um, kind of mermaidish, beachy color. And the thing is, like, when you bleach or highlight your hair, the blondes are always different tones, depending on the toner or the time of the year. So... Maybe it'll be this bright sometime. Maybe I should hold on to it. Maybe I should just give it to my mom when she comes out. If I can get her to come out and visit again. She was here March for my birthday um, two years ago on my 50th. My birthday's March 21st. That's why it's Shannon 321. Well, Shenanigans 321 for my birthday. Um, next product. I dropped something. Uh, a pair of silver earrings. These were 79 cents. And uh, they're the zippers. And I think these are a dupe. Just little hoops. Zipper doesn't move. But they're cute. They got the post. And I do have my ears double pierced. I mean, that'd be kind of cool to have both of them in. I have a bracelet that goes with that too. Put those in my chalice for now. 
sometimes I put that stuff in there where it get lodged in the seam. Just try to organize some of this trash. I try to hold on to some of these bags so when I do the garage sale I have the bubble wrap where these bags are great just to store like some winter hoodies or something when I put them out in the garage. Here goes my nose. Oh, that sucks. I, I better not be getting sick. I I can't. I can't afford it. Um, next product is something. It looks like a pair of fake denim pants in a size large. I'm thinking these are going to be too big now. It's $4.99. Look at the materials when you do look at clothes, you guys, because you think you're buying denim because the model looks like she's wearing denim, and they're not. These are like leggings, okay? And um, I bought a couple more pairs, and I hope to God they're not like this. Like, yes, they'd be lightweight in the summer as opposed to wearing denim. They've got these cute decals, just the bands. But because of the material, they are kind of light. So definitely got to wear panties with them unless you don't want to. Um, I've got to try those on. I'm kind of scared. I thought they were denim. They're not denim. Um, I had a pair on that looked like just like that, but they were pants. And Jay ended up loving them. He goes, oh, I love those pants. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I really like them. I don't know. Maybe because they were tight. But I prefer the denim, or at least that's the, what I thought I was getting. I'm going to get through this next bag. That's my goal. This was $8.97. And I have no idea what it is. Some kind of clothes. Oh, oh it's a black dress. Sleeveless. It's lined with like an inner slit, which is nice. Here's the back of it. It's got like the hook somewhere. I don't see the hook. So yeah, this is the back. It's supposed to hook. I don't see the piece that it's supposed to latch onto there, but I could always add it. Just a sleeveless black dress. It is long. But the slip only comes down probably to the knees, and then the bottom is more the see-through lace. And it would be nice, I agree with you, I hear you, if I could do a clothing try-on, but I time. And I've got so much to get through. It's going to bother me because I'm going to be upset if the hook's not on there for $9. It's missing a button, you guys. It's I, I'm just going to have to find a little pearl button or something and button it on there. That pisses me off. Like, seriously, for nine bucks, why don't you put the button in there? And that looks like you'd have a really small neck. But it'll work. But, it, yeah, you get it. It goes like this. And then just like that. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. No button. I've, I've got a bunch of buttons, but time. I ain't got time for that. Damn. Oh well. This is five dollars ninety-eight cents. Um, it looks like it's more of an LED lawn ornament, like the steak. Um, I believe I got it because it looks like a sparkler, like the Fourth of July. There you go. It's your solar light, and it is. Um supposed to be different colored. You could see the little LED lights. They are wires, so you can bend them about. And there's the steak. You just go like that, put it in the ground, and bend the sparkler wires, and the sun will heat it up. And that should shine on crazy diamond. Um, more garden stuff. Gee whiz. Man, I just wish I had like two weeks off of work. I mean, of course I can take two weeks off, but I need the money. Next product, $2.30. And, oh, okay. Just a little crocodile toy. I believe I got these in different sizes. Um... Little toy for my grandson, and I guess you just push down the teeth, 
Act like you're a dentist. Oh! Okay, yeah, so you take turns. It's a game. I'm going to go for that one. He's going to go for that one. I'll go for that one. I'm going to go that one. Nope, let's do this one. Nope. Ow! How cute. He'll get a kick out of that. Because, you know, you got to be the over-exaggerated grandma and go, Oh! Oh! Oh, my finger! He bent my finger off! And he'll go, ha, 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 Grandma, you're so funny. Next product, $7.59, and I got myself a pair of white shoes. How long will they stay white? Maybe five minutes if I'm lucky. Not a bad quality. So they don't actually tighten when you tie them. It's more of the design. They do have the inner shoe stuff to keep them kind of firmed up. Lightweight, really good quality. I'm actually surprised. I wear size 7. Super white. $10? All right. I want to look fresh. I don't care. I usually wear Nikes, but I'm wearing jeans. Anybody say, oh, your fake shoes. They're not Nike. Next product, $1.50. What is it? It is just a stress ball. I need to double fist with these. So much fun. Let's go to my bag. So I'm sitting at work and a passenger keeps hitting their call button to tell me that the plane is too hot or they need extra ice or they want their third snack. Yeah, I'll just be like, what can I do for you? You hit your call button. Can I help you? Uh -huh, okay, thank you. Sure, I'll be right there with your fourth Coke and a 20-minute flight. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to keep that there because I'm going to continue playing with it. Next product is $4.01. Again, another toy for my grandson. The robot doggy. Needs batteries. Let's see, let's see. What size batteries? Ages three and up. I don't see everything's in uh, Asian writing. But, uh, yeah, you just unscrew his belly. It's got the little monkey wrench thing there. And he walks. I think he barks. But I believe the eyes light up as well. Um, again, that is probably something I should test for you. So I'm going to try to set that to the side with the voice changer so that I can give you a better understanding on how it works. $3.61 is our next toy for him. Grandma spoiled him a little bit. I don't want to take it out, but it has the, you unscrew the button. This looks like it takes batteries as well. Sometimes they're charged, but it's got an on and then just kind of bounces around. He's a little gray hamster. He bounces. They had them in brown. They had other colors. That's going to be something, again, that is going to require batteries. So maybe I'll put all the battery-operated toys to the side. And when I do my next haul, um, you'll probably see them again. But hopefully the batteries will be in so you can see how they work. Next product was $5.98 for three of them. It is a beauty glazed concealer. It all says beauty glazed primer, concealer, and foundation. Again, perfect travel size. Are they going to work? I don't know. This color for the concealer is color 101. I actually ran out of my concealer. So this will be a quick fix. Beauty Glazed Concealer. Let's see. Get. I don't have the patience to nicely open up boxes today. And uh, there it is. So let's just go right here where the pimple is. Now it looks like there's supposed to be a pump, but there's not. So that's the concealer. Dab.
So obviously you're supposed to put the concealer on underneath your foundation, but just kind of showing you the shade 101. I'm a Used to be in the winter, I'm like more of an ivory or porcelain connect. Uh, ivory or porcelain would be my uh, concealer colors, foundations. But as you can see, I'm a little bit darker now. Um, let's see, next one is the primer. I hope it's clear. I like the clear primers, I don't like the tinted ones, and it is so. Let's see the uh, way that feels on the skin. It does have the pump. I'm gonna put those in my little makeup organizer. Very nice. Very smooth and glossy and not very oily or watery or sticky. Perfect, very happy with that. Remember that me, because I'm gonna recommend that um, Beauty Glazed um, Primer. And this is the foundation color. So let's go ahead and put this foundation over where I just put the concealer. Maybe it's not supposed to have a little dabber. And obviously it's not going to match the rest of my foundation. This is a good match. Very nice. Really nice. Kind of a medium coverage so far and then if you have oily skin just put some pressure <gasps> god i almost got it all over the ottoman gee whiz how many things have i dropped already in this video <laughs> i'm back <clears throat> uh be like is that a makeup on the ottoman yeah my ottoman back off stay in your way 248 for the next product it looks like this was a big makeup haul this looks like more makeup it's a matte lip liner. So, I got that lip stain on, trying to take it off so you can see. Uh, Dim Show Water Lip Tint Pen. DIM Show. Let's see. It's kind of corally. I, I try to go for the reds. Ooh, it is red. So what I like to do typically Kind of hard to do it looking at the camera. It's like a stain. Yeah, it's drying. It's a stain. Goes on wet. And then it'll dry and we put a little gloss over it. At least I think so. Gosh, that blush is pretty bright. Let's see, Jake goes to work in about two hours. An hour and a half. Another toy, I'm not going to take it out. It was $5.97. It's a mechanical man. And he flies, apparently. Um, it has different colors. Motion controlled. It has a flashlight and a charger. So it comes in red, blue, yellow. It says it's easy to use, best gift for children. It says for six years and up, but you can collect the different colors. And I think this one was just on sale, which is why I got it in yellow, because I probably would want the red, blue, or orange, to be honest. But apparently it spins and it kind of zooms up and flies up. So kid is going to have more toys. Then he's going to know what to do with it. And he comes over to visit. He goes right for the toy box. This is another one of these. Okay. Same thing. But I believe this one is bigger. This one 
was $2.98. For some reason, it was, I think, not that much difference in price than the really small one. Let's get the tape off it. Yeah, it's bigger. So, where's his eyeballs? Oh. Yeah, there's his face. Pick the eyeballs. Oh, those are, that's the nose and then the eyes. So I'll do that later, but pick a tooth. Oh, Grandma's turn. Kasdan's turn. Cute. All right, so I've got to put that together for him. So we could have a mama and a baby. Or I can give it to the neighbors across the street. My little buddy over there, Creed. Gosh. I feel like I'm getting sick. Oh, I'm going to be mad if I'm sick. I cannot miss any more work. I said it a million times. Next product. Uh, $8.04 some more gardening bags I'm done gardening for the year I've got so much stuff coming in but um, these are great for potatoes and root vegetables one, two, three, and four okay so it's kind of that plasticky material these are really big and then when you want to pull out the potatoes or let's say we're growing potatoes I don't know if this one, yeah, you just lift the bottom and you can pull it out from the bottom. And I believe I got kind of like a tarp that goes under here. Um, I think I showed it in a previous haul uh, where you can keep the soil and reuse it because soil can get expensive. But um, for $8, there's four of them. Uh, let's see if it tells you the size. Seven gallon. So each bag will hold seven gallons. That's probably a bag and a half of soil for your rooted vegetables, which I think next week I'm gonna maybe take you out to the garden. We'll see with my time. I do have a doctor's appointment and I gotta make that hair appointment. But if I have time, I'll uh, kind of dump out my one that I already have, like just that has the potatoes in it. But these I will use next year. And I really like these, just kind of put around the house instead of digging up the dirt in the back of the lawn. But uh, most of our sun is in the front and we have just a small area in the front of the house. So yeah, those are gonna go with the garden stuff in the garage for next year. Getting there. We're getting there. Oh, four dollars and fifty-seven cents. And um, these are going to go in the bathroom. Uh, again, I haven't started it. I keep saying I'm gonna, but re realistically, uh, maybe later in the summer. But um, it's going to be a farmhouse. Um, deck decorative bathroom so it's going to be the gray with the green I've got the shelves and everything. this is a really this is the best rug I've ever gotten from Timo and I'm telling you it is heavy it is thick it is fluffy it is going to be water absorbent um oh I lied. The small one, I got this identical. The smaller one was four fifty-seven. So I got that one to go in front of the sink. This one is going to go in front of the bathtub. And it was $19.69. It's 31.5 inches. Maybe the smaller one is. Now, this big one says it's 50 by 80 centimeters, whatever that is. Um, product name, rug and mat, country of origin, China, 100% polyester. Dirk C D E R X I is a manufacturer. This is amazing. This is so heavy. Oh, I can't wait to get my bathroom done. Obviously, like I said, I'm still going to keep my channel up and active. I just might not be as active as I want to be. Um, I don't know. This one says it is 45 by 65. I am telling you, this is so heavy. So this is the smaller one. 
It is so well made with the rubber backing. I mean, I don't, can you see how thick that is? Yeah, extremely, extremely pleased with the quality of these rugs. 100% I would recommend. 100%. I want to put it back in the bag so it doesn't get dusty and dirty until it's time for me to do that bathroom. Got to call my girlfriend Kelly to come over and say, help me hang up these shelves. Oh, no, I broke the bag. Damn it. All right. Almost done. And we're at an hour 15. I am almost done. We've got a few more products. Um, this is a Hell Yes coin, 69 cents. Jay loves these, especially when he's roughing his games. It'll say, what's it going to be? F no or Hell Yes. So I'll be like, all right, do you want to go out to dinner? And I'll be like, no, all right. And he'll say, yeah, let's go get something to eat. No, I don't want to. Yes or no? And I'll say, hell yes. We're going out to dinner. All right, Jay, there you go. So he'll like that. He's got some between the shorts and this. And then these are 50 pieces of stickers. Again, I give these out to the kids on the flight. They're just fun. I think they're poopy ones because I got a six cents of you. And I do. Show you a couple. Poop is loading. Constipated me crying. TMI. Stinky butt J. Poop and toilet paper BFFs. Um, you complete me, toilet paper and poop. Sing the shit out of that song. With the poop. Winnie the poop. I got it. But yeah, there's a bunch of them here. How cute are they? I don't think I can give those to the kids, though. I don't know. Parents might not appreciate it, especially in Utah. They're pretty strict with their kids. I thought they were funny. This is great. Eat shit. Excriminant. I don't know. I mean, they're funny. I don't know. I think farts are hysterical. A gag with poop and certain element, you know, odors. Are, uh, uh, but still funny. Maybe I'll send them to my grandson. He'll get a kick out of that. He'll think it's hysterical. Four eighty nine. Something I've never done was these. Um, I think it's like an embroidery. What do they call it? Needlepoint. And on a four day trip, when you have a three hour flight and people are sleeping, it's just something to do. $4.89. I, I don't think it'd be too hard. You've got the hoop. I guess you put that over there and then you just kind of thread it. I wanted to always try it. I don't know how to do it. I'll watch some YouTube videos and figure it out. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Like I said, $4.89. I've never done it before, so we'll see. You guys, we are down to the last few products. More makeup. Eyeshadow crayon. This was two dollars and eleven cents, and it is S H C O E T Y Y. And I'll do a swatch on the back if I can open it. Kind of like a coral pinkish. Just when I want. Oh, there's two of them in here. So, let's see. Shimmery. Oh, there's a blue. And uh, I hope it's pink. It's got a uh, built-in sharpener on the lid. Let's see. Is there two? I lied. It's one. I thought it was pink, and it's not. It's blue. 
And man, did they seal that good. So let's see if I can open it. Man, I got to get up really early in the morning. Um, Jay has some games 45 minutes away from here in um, Cedar City. And there was no way I could fly out. And even though technically I don't start to 9 in the morning, I have to fly out tomorrow at like 6 and just spend the night in the airport so I can um, make it to work at 9 a.m. on Friday. So I won't see him for five days. But then I do have three days off, like I said. But then I got my doctor's appointment. That usually takes an hour or two. Let's do a swatch. It's a pretty blue, right? Put it over the brown in the bottom of my eye. I think I'm in like Oklahoma City this week in Great Falls. I don't know if you could see it. All right, I think I have one more product, stuff for the kids. It was $3.22, so this is going to be packed in the bag for them. I love kids, if you can't tell. And it's got a bunch of little finger puppets. How many are in here? $3.22. This is the last product for you guys today. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. It looks like there's twelve. Ten. Sorry, ten animals. We got a little duck, a little elephant, a doggy. So let's see. This is a little bear. You just... And they are small. So it'd be good for little kids' fingers, not necessarily mine. Maybe my pinky? Actually, maybe I'll just put it in one of my, um, yeah, my fingers are too fat to get in there, and I don't want to rip it, but, what are you doing? I'll show you just a couple of them. Got a little bear, got a little mouse, how cute. So, yeah, you put your finger here on the bottom. A little squeaker. Got a frog. Little hippo, panda, duck, cow, pink elephant, giraffe. Yeah, too. So, kids will like that. That is going over there. And you know what, you guys? It's been almost an hour and a half, so I'm going to wrap it up at this rate. It's going to take me probably overnight to get this loaded. And like I said, when I come back in about a week, hopefully I'll get another video out there for you. Some really great finds in this. Those rugs are amazing. We'll see how the toys work. Um, I like that shelf, the male shelf I got. Um, the makeup seems really good, especially that um, primer. Um, yeah, can't go wrong. Um, I say I'm going to be done with Timu. I've done really, really well. I just put in my first order, and it's been two and a half weeks. I usually order three times a week. So trying to control my cravings and my withdrawals but I just I'm running out of room number one I have everything I need and I want to put my money towards other uses like eyelashes and uh, a crown on my tooth and you know, that's expensive dental work is so expensive and I don't like clutter and uh, kind of borderline getting there so it's going to take me a while to clean out the garage, to clean out every room, to clean out every drawer, to get rid of things, to hold the garage sale. I got to deep clean the house again. So yeah, I'm going to be busy. I'll probably call my cleaning lady and have her come out next week. Maybe in two weeks when I get my next paycheck because this last paycheck really sucked. It was less than half of what I bring home and uh, I got to stretch it. You know, I don't like to dip into my savings. So with that being said, I want to thank you guys for your time. Make sure you go to at Trisha's house with a capital T and a capital H and check out her channel. She's just starting off, but she's a natural. And um, I thanks again to everybody who's reached out to me. I miss you guys too. I love you to death and you really know how to make this girl feel good about herself. So hope you are doing well. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week and have a blessed week. And once again, thank you so much for your time today. Be kind to each other.
Love you guys. Bye. I said good day. <laughs>